Hi, I'm Steve Dale with great news. That is that our pets are living longer than ever before. But with old age come problems. One of those problems is called hyperthyroidism. It occurs in cats and it was discovered by Dr. Mark Peterson of the Animal Medical Center in New York City. Think about hyperthyroidism, it can be deceiving. Early on, the signs of hyperthyroidism look good to the pet owner, the cat owner, because they have this cat that was laying around, sleeping like cats tend to do, gaining weight, as cats tend to do if they're indoor cats, and all of a sudden, the cat's losing weight, running around, playing with a kitten. These are all good signs. Then what happens if they don't go to the veterinarian to, to make the diagnosis, as this goes on, then they start to lose more and more weight, develop heart disease, maybe liver disease, possibly even some kidney disease can be caused by all this, and they lose more and more weight, is this tumor in their thyroid gland, which by the way is in the neck area, mm -hmm. and the veterinarian can feel on the exam um, as this tumor grows and the disease progresses. There are three basic treatments. One is surgery, which is curative, but it's clearly pretty invasive. Another, medication, but then the tumor keeps on growing. That's the problem with the medication. And pilling your cat, we all know about that. The third option is called radioactive iodine. That treatment is, is it's the perfect treatment, really, in many ways. It's the treatment of choice for this disease in people. What we do is give the cats an injection subcutaneously of a solution of radioactive iodine. Iodine is part of thyroid hormone. Iodine is the, the, the only tissue in the body that needs or wants iodine is the thyroid gland. So we give this by injection, it gets taken up, only goes to the thyroid gland predominantly, mm -hmm. gets made into thyroid hormone, and as that process is occurring in the cat's thyroid gland, the radiation is given off and destroys the tumor. Not all veterinary clinics offer radioactive iodine. We're talking about veterinary teaching hospitals and specialty clinics. After all, we're dealing with radioactive material, and your cat will have to be there for a couple of days. Helping people and helping pets. That's what specialty medicine is all about. Learn more at acvim.org. I'm Steve Dale.